Hello, I'm Cesar Saavedra. I'm a technical marketing manager at GitLab. In this segment, I'm going to be covering a new feature in GitLab 13.5 called Feature Flags Flexible Rollout Strategy. This new feature uh, or capability enables uh, the feature of, for a percentage uh, of page views uh, with configurable consistency of behavior. It leverages uh, an open source project called Unleash uh, to uh, uh, you know, to implement this activation strategy uh, called flexible rollout. You can configure the consistency to be based on user IDs, session IDs, uh, random and available ID. And the rollout percentage could be anywhere from zero to 100%. What does it matter? Uh, to customers uh, and prospects, uh, it enables them to define the stickiness based on session ID, user ID, or random, which is uh, no stickiness. And this gives them more control over the rollout and allows them to support stickiness for anonymous users. They're also able to experiment uh, with variations of their applications in production. And also uh, they can leverage this feature to uh, segment uh, their users and to do A-B testing. To learn more, here's uh, some resources. Uh, there's a, a link to the documentation, a link to the issue um, that uh, implemented uh, or that address the implementation of this uh, capability. And some things to follow, uh, you know, you can check out the, uh, our progressive delivery information uh, in our um, CD category direction, and the link is right there. So let's jump into the demo. Here I have a project uh, called the Spring MVC JPA, in which I have implemented a feature flag. And the feature flag is right here. It's called FF1. And let's look into it. Into it. This uh, feature flag has two strategies. Uh, it has one for staging. For staging, it will offer the feature just for a user ID called Mickey at Disney.com. And for the production environment, it will do a percent rollout of 50% based on available ID. Available ID, the way it works is if the user is logged in, it'll make the behavior consistent based on that and the user ID. If the user is anonymous, it'll uh, make the behavior consistent based on the session ID. And if there's no user ID or session ID, uh, the feature is enabled for the selected percentage of page views uh, randomly. So in this case, it's 50%. Uh, and this, uh, the specific feature consists of a list of products that we'll, we'll see in a second. Uh, that they, they may be ordered by ID or by name. And the feature actually orders them by name, not by product ID. So let's go to the environments. And let's do, we can do production first. And here's the sign in. So let's sign in, sign in as Pluto first. And as you can see here, uh, the products are ordered by name, which is the feature. So Pluto got the feature. So that's one user. I'm going to try with four users. So let's try with the second user, which is uh, who is Magic. And Magic also got the feature. As you can see, the products are ordered by name. So that's two out of four. Let's try with Mickey. Mickey did not get the feature. As you can see, the products are ordered by product ID, not in alphabetical order by name. And the last one is Hulk. And Hulk is, uh, did not get the feature. So that's two out of two, so that's 50%. And uh, in production, that was the strategy. So let's go to staging. And in staging, let's try the same user IDs. And the other strategy that was the, the Mickey was gonna be the only one getting the feature. So Pluto did not get the feature. Magic did not get the feature. 
Mickey got the feature right there. He was tar specifically targeted. And Hulk should not get the feature. Yeah, so Hulk uh, did get the feature. So in order to enable uh, feature flags, uh, you need to do a few things uh, within your project. Uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, define some variables. And here the variables you need to define are the unleash instance ID and the unleash uh, URL. If we reveal the values, you will see these values here. And these values you get from the feature flex, uh, flex configuration settings. Uh, so if we uh, exit this one, let's just go here. Here, if you click on the configure button, these are the values that you see in the variables right there. Okay, so you just copy and paste those to the variables. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to update your source code to use these variables and, and the feature flag. So let's go to, I believe it's this one here. There we go. So please ignore the debugging statements that I left in there. But basically in this, um, in this class, I have a, um, I'm instantiating a configuration for a leash here, and I'm passing the uh, instance ID and the URL that came through via these environment variables, as well as the GitLab environment variable, which in our case is going to be either production or staging. And then the next thing you need to do is wherever you want to uh, enable this feature, you need to have this if statement. If the feature is enabled and you pass the feature flag name, in this case, if the feature is enabled, the product list is ordered. Else, if it's not enabled, the product list is just ordered by product ID. Very good. So that concludes uh, this segment. Uh, thank you very much.